Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, Carnet, Dufe, Howard, and Courtney went through the Warrens, and as you can see, left many a swine slain. Had a good time doing it. Today, we're bringing an old-fashioned team to a new-fashioned area, the Rift Dungeon. We tried this before, and we actually it crashed the first time we tried it. We're gonna try again, though. Retreating will result in the destruction of several building upgrades. Complete 100% of room battles. We get two campfires. We get a ritual of resurrection if we succeed. And for this, we are taking our A-team. Emerald Sky, built with Blue Lantern, High Rollers, Dice, and Ancestor's Head. Sharkwalker, built for Bleeds with Spike Collar, Damien's Head, and the Bloody Rapier. Vesley, built for Heals with the Salacious Diary, Last Light, and Martyr's Halo. And then finally, Fentosmi with the Legendary Bracer and Punch combo. So, let's see how it goes. All right. Based on what you're telling me here, I want to bring all the food. I probably want to bring all the shoves. Bring some torches. Mm, let's bring anti-venom and bandages just in case. And then let's bring a smith's secret for some extra damage. Just in case we need it. Rip Dungeon is a hardcore challenge. Retreating will result in the destruction of several building upgrades. If you are not ready, don't try this quest. Please don't crash. <laughs> uh, please don't crash. That's all I ask. Give me the quest. It didn't have an icon before. And it didn't have a reward before. So that's why I'm thinking it's good now. Oh, it's a straight line. It's a straight freaking line. Alright. Is there a battle in every square? Oh, there's a polyp. They're from the Darkest Dungeon. There's a Flesh Eater. There is a Squiffy. And there is a Champ. Alright, we do have Strike the Stun. I should have probably brought something to help take advantage of that. But let's see if we can get the Flesh. Yeah, baby! Flesh Eater right in the first move. Right in the Knackers. There's the Venom. From his Venomous Brain. Jeezum, chip jeezum. Seven damage. And 20 stress. We should have brought Laudanum. Yeah, stress is going to be our... Likely our biggest problem. Judging from early on here. Um, I'm going to go for the all team heal. And we're, that's probably what we're going to re be relying on a lot. Are those um, stress heals. Uh, let's go with... What's your bleed chance? 68? It's almost nice. Oh, we even got the bleed on the duel with 140% resist. And it's a good one, too. A bleed of 5 on an AoE attack is amazing. So we're definitely not worried about the damage. At least theoretically. Oh, nicely done, Shark Walker. Alright, we need to move back. Go for... Uh, let's go for the Palm. Great damage. That's death. I wanted that Fricker dead. Because the worst he could do is crit. Even the bleed isn't that bad. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and absorb stress here. I know it's a little early to start doing that. We should have brought some minor shards. That was a huge mistake on my part. But two of them are going to bleed out. So we have the time right now to counter this stress. This is the only damage we're going to take this turn. And it was a dodge, so it wasn't even really a thing. Give me the roundhouse. No Alright. That's a start, alright. Is there a battle in every square? No, there's not. Okay, that's good to know. So, okay, I didn't exp... Neat? That's pretty neat, yeah? Yeah, that's neat. A healing potion. Okay. I can't complain. Ah. Okay, no, we're in position. Oh, that's not good. Vesley, talk to her. A large healing potion. Reasonable, I guess. Uh, you know what? Let's use this book. Let's give uh, Emerald 10% more damp. Two rounds?! Well, that hurt me right in the soul. Okay. 
Okay, there's got yeah, I was gonna say there's gotta be cannibals. All right, that's different. Seventy health. Oh dear God! And this one's resistant to stun. We are relying hard on crits for this fight. And of course there's more stress, but good dodge from Fantosmi. There's a reason you're the champion team. Let's do it, lads. Punch him in the face! God damn, that's beautiful. Alright, he is a cannibal, so we might have to worry... ...a little bit about the fact that we left the corpse. Maybe? I don't know. Will he eat the corpse? That is something that remains to be seen. Thank you for not pulling us forward. All right, weak sauce. Give me the heals. Okay, what are you gonna do? Okay, he's using his regular grab. It was weak. Cannibalism, I knew it. He did eat the corpse. And he gave him 50% extra damage for a whole fight. Oh, God. Okay. Shark Walker's gone all Imperial on us. Or ephemeral. Imperial, yeah, that was the right term. I mean, I think it might be the wrong term technically, but it's also the right term as far as the game is concerned. Nice crit. Oh god, the knockback. That might not be nice. Oh shit, I was hoping to go for a stun. Well, at least we can get the stress out of here. All right, well, if this guy's explosion is the last thing we have to worry about, we might be okay. He did not revenge. And his grab sucks eggs, so who cares? All right, good stuff so far, team. Hmm. I'll think about this as I disappear into the night. Who do you think you are, Shark Walker? You think Batman? All right. Probably should have gone for the single target to take advantage of the mark, but... I'm gonna go for the stun chance here. Please. Frick. Frick! Top frick! Maybe he can't explode, though. Maybe we're lucky. Nice crit. 10 HP away. There's the revenge. 47 damage?! Fear not, I will guard your back. Thanks. Thanks, Vesley. Alright, well, let's try the, str the friggin' healing potion, I guess. There it is. That's some good stress relief, but now we still got this goddamn Death's Door debuff. Jesus, that was a little nuts, dude. I didn't move Fantos me back. Oh, dude, that orc looks awesome. That flesh maiden also looks extremely naked. Um, from the waist up. Gray ectoplasm, cohesive... Oh, my God. I will give them credit for this. These enemies look amazing. Oh, Jesus! That was great. All right. Thankfully, Emerald's seen the way. And the way will result in one less ectoplasm to worry about. Excuse me? He turned into a raider! Quick, throw a present at him! As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. If you think that's enough to make me use... Do you not bleed? You barely bleed. If you think that this is enough to make me use the dog treats, you got another thing coming, boys. You haven't watched this freaking game enough. A curse? Can you not? Of course it's a stress attack. Oh... Nice crit heal. Nice double crit heal. Okay. No, no Zerkers today, at least. Ooh, minus protection and crit. That's actually really good against this raider. That's not enough for the kill, but this is enough for the cleanup. There it is. Uh, excuse you. I don't remember asking for a blood golem. No! They did not ask for this. Get out of here! <gasps> no! No more exploding enemies! Did she just hurt herself? I, oh, I think that hurt her. Yeah, getting rid of the blood golem. 
dude, the, the, the random debuffs are so good. Uh, let's go for a kill. I wasn't even trying for a crit, but thanks, Vesely. Actually, Alan did two rounds of the stress. Okay, what are you gonna do now? Inner hate. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell? I mean, it sucks that our heal's gone for a turn, but... Alright. Blap them. Of course, every time we blap, a blood golem pops out. I get it now. Absorb stress, please. Alright. Now give me the your finest... Oh, he, had, he took a minute. He had to become stable again. Give me your finest single target slap. I mean, that wasn't your finest, but it was enough for the kill. Hopefully. Okay, good. She's gone. Now we gotta worry about these bastards, but they have 12 health, so we should be fine. Yep. And one more. We just do it again. Oh, he, he's just gonna disappear. Okay. Thanks for the coal. You dick. Alright. Well, at least now we have an idea of what the cadence of battle is going to be. And it'll probably be all unique enemies. Wow! Look at that, dude! Just look at him! He looks awesome! I hate him because he's going to freaking kill me, but he looks awesome doing it. Let's go for the slapback. Let's go for the hot 83 dodge. That's stupid, and I love it. But let's go for the slapback combo here. Let's give her to the piranha. All right, well, he's going to bleed out, so that's good enough. The blood quickens. Uh, let's get... Stun him. Stun the giant crab. There you go. Buys us an extra turn where he gets to do nothing. Of course, he's going to stress wave. What else would he do with his life other than stress wave? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. All right. Thankfully, we have one hell of a dominating team. We have our true champions on the field. Relieving stress, popping fools. It's what they do, and it's what they're good at. This dude does count as a beast, so the roundhouse does get extra damage. Oh, hi. How you doing? Welcome to the front lines. Don't cut me, bro. Oh, he cut me. Uh-oh, here we go. Claw form abyss. What? Okay. No, that's that, that was fair. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's supposed to be claw from abyss. Maybe. Uh, yeah, no, keep biting. Bleed him, bleed him, bleed him, boy. Okay, another ceremonial cut. Thankfully, he can't stress wave from up there. So I actually think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to do this again. It's a risky play, but if anyone on our team goes next, it will pay off. And power. It paid off. Beautiful work, team. Size alone does not the sharp Another jute. Another cute jute. Nice. All right. So far, we're rocking it. We've only had to use one healing potion. Hello. Ooh, wow, you guys look awesome too. A Freischitz. Pyromancer. I hate it. <laughs> it's literally called a big boy. All right. Oh, the Pyromancer gets two moves. I hate that too. Let's come on. First of all, she had 69 uh, dodge. So second of all, we're going to take him to Slapback City, I hope. Um... Yeah, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> I'm not dealing with a fire user two turns per turn. Two turns per round. Great bleeds. Sand attack! God, Vesley in her pocket sand. 10 out of 10. Okay. Fry shoots has been shoot the Defend this? Oh, the slap back, though. I mean, Fantosmi took damage, but we still got that slap back. Rapid fire, that's what I thought it was gonna be. 25? What the? Do you take more damage the more dodge you have? 
That's the only logic I can get out of why that did 25 damage explicitly to her. Deadly shot. Honestly, given the name of the move, it wasn't that deadly. But you are going to bleed out, so I'm guessing that was deadly. All right, give me the mark. All right, uh, Vesley, we really need your heals. Don't take care of them. Lower damage by 15%. Okay, do take care of them. You can do that all day, Vesley. I'll be happy with that. Die, maggot. How dare you. Thank you for resisting the stun. We need that extra turn. Okay, what's his bleed? 10 per round? Okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna frick around for a bit. All right, and I know that's usually a dangerous proposition. But I think we're good for it right now. All right, because I want, I want this heal. There we go. Now we're reset. You're done. And you have one health left. What are you going to do? Defend this? Oh, no! Well, I mean, that was a thing you did. I'll give you credit. Uh, let's just have you move back. Get reset for next round. You get the slap. Get the stress relief. Fell their cursed champion. We're we're not super unhealthy. Oh wow. Vile maws, huh? First of all, the torch is at sixty nine. Uh oh no! I meant to use. Oh no! Oh no, they're rushing us! That's a bleed and a slapback. Well, a knockback. Slapback's a little different. You should know this. You've been watching long enough, you do know this. Okay, well, I mean, the one in the... Back already moved, so now we hit the one in the front. Very extremely low stun chance. They have 150 blood stun resist, but extremely low bleed resist. So, the strategy is pretty clear. This should be a good fight for Sharkwalker. Assuming he doesn't get immediately slapped down to zero HP here. This should be an extremely good fight for him. I wonder if we should use Hound's Rush a bit more. Dude, the, the stress relief is just killer. Alright. This is a good spot for a roundhouse kick, but instead I'm going to go for the mark. I think it's a better spot for a mark. Because Shark Walker can use those. Oh, God damn. That is a blight attack. And it's gross. Hey, I said it's gross. That means I don't want it. Get it out of here. You stank ass venom. All right, we're fine. Uh, yeah, let's go for the uh, double damage against Mark. It's a lower bleed, oddly enough. But... That's a lot of extra. Ooh, wow, it is. It is some extra damage. And it's a much higher. You know what? Let's go for it for the crit. No dice. Yeah, I should probably just keep going with Hound's Harry. I think it's more effective. Plus, we hit the wrong one because I'm an idiot. So, maybe we should just keep going with Hound's Harry. Reduces the chance of me doing stupid things. Ravage. I mean, I get it. She's ravaging. No, wait, that's ravishing. My bad. That's a bleed. It's a small bleed, though. Like a small boy bleed. The bigger the beast, That'll do it. The greater the glory. Good hit, Sharkwalker. Alright. Once we get to the next room, we'll be about... Oh, jeez. About halfway through this whole thing. Let's go for the uh, single target here. Fantastic. That's what I needed in this life. Uh, uh, just keep going for this. That seems to be working just fine. And now we can purposely go after the single target. I don't feel like we need the bandages yet. Or the anti-venom. Oh, those crits. Oh, beautiful. Alright, we're... Yeah, let's go for the full party here. Not having much luck on those crit heals this round, but that's okay, that's okay. Don't rush me, bro. Oh, we've been rushed! Oh, wow, that's a pull forward. Yikes. Yikes. Now we might want to use a bandage for that. No, you don't get a move again. I mean, I guess you do. But you shouldn't. Is what I'm trying to get at. Ah, 
crap. Yeah, we're going to be using these. Um, Let's go for a slapback setup. Along with... Oh, dang it. Uh, let's use one of your weaker moves this time. I don't want to kill him yet. That's the thing. Okay, that was a team buff. So that's good. There we go. Put down a little bit of protection so that we can get some heals going on. There we go. And now if we can get an immediate kill this turn, I would be grateful. We cannot because we are not in position. That hurts a little bit. But there are plenty of people who can get this slap. Actually, no, he's not going to bleed out. Now that answers that question. Crap. Well, we got the slap back. And nobody got blighted. So, you know what? Not great. Not terrible. Probably our worst performance so far, but eh, we're all right. There we go. Nothing the little food can't solve. Story of my life. Shades. They're all shades. And they transform, I guess? Interesting. And they all have the exact same amount of dodge and protection. Well, this one I don't want to hit because he has some annoying moves. Everyone else we could deal with for a round. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not going to like that amount of dodge and protection they have. I wonder if they carry over the bleeds from round to round. I guess we're going to find out. That is a much powerful... Wow, that has stuns on it now? Oh, jeez. It's like a beefed up version of the moves. Thankfully, our stun resist is apparently killer. Nice double dodge. Ten, ten would want to double dodge again. Take me out, will you? We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, you don't need that damage, you losers. Now they transform? Yep. In the Bony Boys. Who are bleeding Bony Boys because they were already bleeding. So that's cool. Alright, give me the most beautiful roundhouse. That's it. That's what I wanted. Pretty low stun resist, so we're gonna go for it. We got it. Because Vesley's a champ. And then a big old bite from Shark Walker. And next turn, you're bleeding out no matter what you transform into. So, see, yikes. <laughs> Let's try that again. Fear not, I have seen the way. So, see you, loser. There we go. Another jute. As victories mount, oh, damn it. So too will I meant to get rid of this and keep the... Ah, crap. Oh, well. Okay, the scouting is pointless because we know there's no no battle in this area. Okay, we don't know that. Never mind, I'm dumb. Uh, let's just move on then. Let's not linger. Oh, wait. Oh, what the hell is that? Imp Larva, Imp Venom Lord, Girl Cubus. Oh, I hate it. Let's go for Slapback. Oh, I hate that in front. That is a Hellion Head, and what is that other one? I don't know. Um, oh, I just know I hate it. They're all beasts, apparently. Do they all bleed? They all bleed at a pretty high rate, so we're going for bleed strats, definitely. Oh my god, this thing. I don't, I don't think I can. I think I physically can't with this thing up front. I, I just want I want to see what it does. Evil bite. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's evil. Oh, it heals her. Venomous Fleminus. You get a Slapus Bacchus. Of course, that's a blight. No, no Maggot XP here. Nice dodge and kill. Oh, Emerald, you are so good at what you do. And what you do to me is very, very nice. Thank you. Thank you for getting that thing off my game. How big is that? Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah, that that's a good reason to have an anti-venom. Get out of here. I mean, the fight itself was easy. It was just gross. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember, guys, overconfidence, something, something. We win every time. At least when we take this team out. Oh, a contract killer. Cultist Priest, Ascended Brawler, and a Demonologist. Okay, two of those are new. Oh god, the worries? 
Okay, minus accuracy is literally not a big deal for Vesley. As is the minus crit. Those two are not a problem. The worries is the worst thing here. However, that probably means we want to kill that guy as soon as possible. You know what? Let's let's keep the slapbacks. The fact that it comes with a mark is a huge bonus. Uh, bleed him, bleed him, bleed him. They shoots back. He shoots back. And his shoot back comes with stress. That's a little friggin' silly. But okay. Death Lash. Oh, the crit. Ah, the damage wasn't a big deal, but the crit was. All right. I think your uh, face has a contract for my fist. Good damage. You got a buff out of that? Huh. All right. Definitely need those heals. Sharkwalker was feeling it. All right, we're still feeling pretty good. Oh, the Demonologist hasn't moved yet. He's slicing and dicing. And he's getting crit. <laughs> Slap back is so good. Let's go for a roundhouse kick. Shuffle him up. There we go. <laughs> Enjoy that stun, boy. So much for your list. A singular strike. Man, Emerald has the best singulars. All right, one shoot back. It was weak. The bleed is 100% worth it. We're done. Well, the minus accuracy lasts for two battles, and the minus crit lasts for the whole quest. Oh, no! Remove problem? That's it? This was the buildup? Boy, talk to the hand. Okay, no, never mind. He dodged that. He did not want to talk to the hand. Okay, then you can talk to the sword. I think we overprepared in some ways. But, a victory nonetheless. but we are victorious. So far. Nonetheless. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Alright. What do we got? Towering. What? Immortal King, we have an actual factual remade but Oh god, no, 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 zero percent chance. Oh no. What do you do? What what's your goddamn gimmick? Just give just give it to me straight. God damn it. Oh, this is gonna suck. These gimmicks always do. Alright, give me your crappy gimmicky fight. We're gonna charge up a slap back. I could have done a dodge boost for uh, Sharkwalker as well, but it's like whatever. You, so you're gonna summon, that's obvious. Six feet under. Oh, okay! Just give me a fucking crit hit, why don't you? For 34 damage, in a way we couldn't dodge it or avoid it at all. No, that's fine. That's perfectly copacetic. What the hell? Oh my fucking god. Mm, you piece of garbage. So does that hurt him? That's how it works. Okay, it's this kind of garbage fight. And don't even start getting it twisted. It is a garbage style of fight. Wait, that lowered his dodge? Oh, it does lower his dodge for one round. So, does killing any of his dudes lower his dodge for one round? Of course, he's got three of them now. Uh, also, why do they have so much speed? Um, I mean, this is a free kill, so let's go for it. It lowers all of their dodge. And also does damage to him. Okay. I mean, we do have a good chance at a kill with this. Does he take da- yeah, he takes damage every time we do it. Okay. Uh, he can't bleed, though, so I think it's better just to go for the single target kill? Especially when you just do that kind of damage with it? I feel like it should stack the number of rounds, but I, I understand if you can't do that. Ugh, still, it's a gimmicky-ass fight, and I don't like it. 
Intertext here! Alright. Yo, this... Use, use the bone. That's right. We're using the bone today, dudes. So we're more likely to get the fucking kill on these guys every time we use a move. Thankfully, Emerald just melts away her stress. And then once her stress is gone, you know, we'll be feeling a lot better. But I don't like this fight. I mean, we're doing fine, obviously. I just... I don't like the setup for this fight. Okay. Can we get him with a knee? There is a small chance. Let's go for it. Risk it. We got him! That means we can do direct damage to the old immortal here. Alright. We know what to do. Very well done. Get him out of here. Okay. Now Shark Walker gets hit Captain King over here directly. For some pretty solid damage, too. Alright, you know what? We have near full health. Get a little bit more on him. He's below half health, my dudes. Six feet under. Is that a guaranteed crit? No, it's just way too much damage. <gasps> oh, it's just way too much damage. Good hit. Okay, he can use the knee, I think, from the third position? Yeah, he can. So we will probably end up having him try to use the knee a bit more often. I mean, obviously, not right the second. Right the second, we're going to do this. And then we're going to give you the fist. But after that, we might try to use the knee more often. Definitely needed the single target because we needed to guarantee health there. The flesh is willing. That's a little too willing, in my opinion. Uh, hey, he's down to 69 health. That was worth a nice, right? That was nice. Fuck. Fuck, he already... Oh, no! What the frick? Dude! What the hell? What do you damage you get knocked down? Oh, your speed, I mean. It's down to seven. So, of course, you went slower than the five-speed zombies. Swear to God. God damn it! Why did he get to go first? What the hell? Shark Walker, what the hell, dude? Have you given up on life? Please! The whole point is that you're supposed to be able to put down some hurts here. My body's become unstable once again. Good for you! Give me the bite! Hoy vey! Alright, we're in uh, knee location, so let's go for it. Oh, Fentos me. Good God, that was great. Now, everyone else needs to go faster than the king. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Emerald will. Great damage. Come on, Shark Walker. He's done it! Fuck you, king. Yeah, 15... That's it? Oh, we're technically done. The 15... It's just... It's accuracy. It's 15 accuracy. I mean, I guess it's a lot of accuracy, sure, but... Uh. So there shouldn't be a battle in this room. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the campfire first. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. Uh, let's see. We need to get some stress down, so thankfully we have man's best friend. Mm, we already have Prevent Nighttime Ambush because we have we have um, The Last Light. Let's go with Serenity. Ah, there's a chance it lowers stress and it didn't work out this time. That's fine. Let's go with Wound Care as well. Okay. We got rid of a good amount of stress there. A Unique Charm. I feel like there's got to be more to that. I don't know. Maybe it's a set item? Maybe it really just isn't that great? I don't know. We're technically done. So I guess we get to see what's ahead. Maybe it's just treasure. Straight up. I'm a little suspicious, but maybe. Hello. Oh, this lady contains loot. 
<clears throat> a blood letter. Extra damage and dodge minus crit in the front position. You know what? That's not too bad. It's a weird number. 13% extra damage. But extra damage and dodge at the cost of some crit chance? That's not bad at all. Is it the best trinket I've ever seen in my life? Obviously not. Most of the best ones we've seen are already equipped. Um, but that's really not much of a downside at all. Oh, Paras Paracosalist. How you doing, dude? Well, I mean, I we have the room for like 900 more people, so welcome to the party. Uh, let's go ahead and use the other camp, get stressed down the rest of the way, and call it a good day. There it is. There's the serenity. Serenity now, indeed. All right, we're good to go, dudes. We're, we're not even... I mean, I guess we got to use some more of it, huh? Use Hound's Watch, I guess. Okay, now we've used enough to rest. There we go. Good stuff, team. Less good health for today, at least. Very interesting enemies here. I actually really thought this was kind of cool. Obviously, nothing hyper unique about the layout of the dungeon. Ugh, and diseases. But other than that, furbished. Extra debuff resist if Crimson Curse. I don't like that. But it's not like, you know. Ah, the guild member's literally useless to us. Wasting sick. All right, well, to the sanitarium we go. Curiosity. We've done it. Interest and obsession. Is that fucking Psy? It is! Damnation. Yo! Look who's back, dudes! Uh, I think we have to bring Psy back. Oh, Ulog's here, though. Is that Rathburger? Oh, God, it's Rathburger. Silvermane's back can be back. Oh, man. You're gonna make me choose. I mean, I'm gonna pick Psy. We haven't had a jester in a long ass time. Welcome back to the group. I wonder if that's a repeatable. I think that's a repeatable quest. Uh, he apparently uh, got all of his stuff downgraded. So, our jester's ready to go. He will be at least. I'm gonna give him everything just cause. But yeah, that's awesome. Don't transform in my face. You dick. That's fantastic. Now, we do have to take my lad's uh, Emerald and Vesley in here and get rid of their diseases. Do we have another disease down here? That No, Fault Mine has a light sign. That is, that is something we keep. Percy also has light sign. Dude, we got a couple of people with light sign around here. I love it. Uh, Snake Charmer Vision. Apostate Scrolls. Extra stress received. That's not good. <laughs> on attack. Back one if in position one. Friendly skill. Forward one. Buff self. Dam plus damage if in position one. That's a weird thing. Red rot for the bloat. You have the red plague. You get a bunch of bonuses. But you get minus protection. Oh, but on any attack, there's a chance to get the red... You know, I'll take that. That's neat. Ritual bell for the bloat. Extra speed. A rotten eye. Gross. Okay. Let's check the stagecoach. There is a... Well, there's apparently a level 3 Vestal. Hey, look. I guess it's Vestal's twin. Um, We rescued uh, Roard, though. Or Roard. It's PTSD. I don't blame him after what he just went through. But yeah, we'll bring you to the cause. Why not? We rescued you. Now you can join. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode of That Plays the Darkest Dungeon. I can't believe our boy is back. That's pretty neat. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because it's going to keep coming. It probably won't stop coming. I don't intend it to be. Till next time, thanks again for watching. That plays Dorgus Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video, my dudes.